one of the evening. Alexander Lez is consisting of three three rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please welcome the fighter in the blue corner. Training out to Arte Swale, weighing at 64 kg. An amateur MMA record of six wins and only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Bradley! And his opponent in the red corner. Training out to Renegade MMA. Weighing at 64 kg, an unbeaten MMA fighter on nine wins and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Referee Neil Hall about to get this one underway. It's a catchweight contest. Mac Promeny taking on Aaron Lavelle. Promeny in the long grey with black trim Lavelle in the solid black trunks interesting situation here with this one Jamie in that it was originally supposed to be a, a I believe a 141 pound catchweight contest Lavelle came in significantly over Promeny decided to take the fight on the night but we can already see that significant size difference yeah, massive size difference here and you can see Lavelle taking the centre straight away with that beautiful jab you know, it's nothing more than stunning the way he throws that jab out there. Promeny competed in the Golden Ticket Featherweight Grand Prix last year or, or, or the year before, I believe it started. Got to the finals and, and dropped the final contest. Came back at Bantamweight. Cleared the Bantamweight division out in the Bantamweight Grand Prix. So he's, he's the current amateur Bantamweight champion here at Golden Ticket. But he's fighting... A, a gentleman significantly above bantamweight here tonight. I can't see Lavelle ever getting down to bantamweight, but uh, oh, no, this, this was supposed <laughs> to be a, a, a 141 pound, so so technically a, a featherweight contest originally. But I, I believe ah, okay. right. Lavelle came in somewhere around the 145, 146 mark. Ah, great take there from uh, Mark Promeny, though. And this is where Promeny excels those power doubles into that top control position. And yeah. he will just grind on Lavelle here. This is superb. That was a superb takedown from uh, Mark Promeny there. And, you know, he, he's exerted his dominance already. And now the size is, is no longer a real issue now. You know, there's only a few kilos in it between them. So, as my dear old dad used to say, they're all the same size when you get them on the back. So. Very, very true. Very, very true. And that's what Mark Promeny will show here now. Although... You know, we know that Aaron Lavelle, no, I don't know. You know, th this guy is, is legit. You know, he's, he's been in this position many a times and he's from Team Renegade as well, which, uh, uh, you know, a very good jiu-jitsu gym. A very good all-round gym. Yeah, absolutely. And lots of talent in the corner. You know, plenty of black belts on the on the mats there as well. You know, but so is Matt, you know, Matt Promeny as well, coming from Denmark. Exerted his dominance here in the wrestling. You know, this is where we saw Promeny excel during that bantamweight tournament. He was able to crush guys against the mat, against the fence. Those power double takedowns so fast. The level change is absolutely sublime. And he just wears guys out from this position. And, you know, like, like we said, Jamie, that all of a sudden that size advantage starts to count for a lot less when you've got Matt Promeny on top of you like yeah, this. I think when you've got someone so quick as well off the scramble, which is exactly what Matt Promeny is, you can see, oh, he's got, and he's dropped for that beautiful choke now. Armin oh, guillotine there. This could be tight. Promeny looking to adjust that grip. Good work though from uh, from Aaron Lavelle. He's gone for an uh, arm in north south. You're not going to get that. This is good work from Lavelle, but you know what? That's a Matt Promeny round. Absolutely, 100%. Matt Promeny putting out the goods in that first round. I, I think we've established what can't happen here. Matt Promeny cannot afford to stand with Aaron Lavelle. Let's be very, very straight about this, Brad. I think the difference on the feet, size-wise, everything that goes with it, not only not just size, Aaron Lavelle's stand-up is mustard, real mustard, where Mac is good on the feet, but not as good as Lavelle. He's going to get his back down to the ground again and do exactly what he just did there. First round in the books in this catchweight contest. Has to be said, this is one of the ones that was causing the buzz on social media in the weeks leading up 
to golden ticket number 10. Aaron Lavelle undefeated as an amateur in nine contests. And he's not been fighting scrubs either. He's been fighting some decent guys. So, you know, anyone with a 9 0 record at this stage in their amateur career is someone to be reckoned with. And obviously, we know the credentials of Matt Promeny, his, his two great turns in the bantamweight and featherweight tournaments here at Golden Ticket. Yeah, there's only a few guys that I've seen get to, to 9 0 as an amateur. You know, uh, people like Iger Paskowskis and, uh, you know, <laughs> Justin Burlington. I mean, there's not many people that get to that level without getting be beaten. And when you look at who they fought, they've always ha had to have fought at least four or five very tough fights. Yeah, we talked about the you know the Ashley Reese's of the world. Yeah, Ashley Reese again, another one. You know, I think he went eight and zero before turning out. You know, turning to pro. Promeny keeping a nice high guard here. He moves his head very well. Yeah, remind his, his movement reminds me of like a Demetrius Johnson sort of you know quick off the back foot can move very quickly has that back foot turned out oh nice two piece there from Lavelle oh catches his man but that's where he might level change again another thing we have to consider here Jamie is the fact that I, I believe originally that this was scheduled to be a title bout but at a catch rate of 141 pounds so a featherweight title bout I believe I could be wrong there I'm sure someone will, will correct me if I am so these guys were originally looking at a five round contest it's now just the three yeah that shows the, 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 you know, what, what they will put into this uh, training camp would have been ready for a five, five round bout which means which, which will actually play in, in the, uh, the hands of someone like Matt Promeny who is a wrestler, I can wrestle, you know, better than most in this division. So I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Matt's got here because I think it's only a three round fight. That plays into his hands, surely. Well, we're going to have to see if this one even, uh, you know, continues. We're in a situation at the moment where we've got a doctor's check going on and Matt Cromney took an inadvertent eye poke. Didn't look to be too bad of an, of an eye poke and, you know, the doctor in and out fairly rapidly there and we're going to get back underway. Referee Neil Hall just having a little conversation with Aaron Lavelle about keeping those hands uh, clenched, keeping the fist clenched when he extends his hand forward. You know, it's, it's something that came in just just over a year ago in the in the unified rules about not being able to extend your hand in a forward motion without a clenched fist. So it's uh, a habit that a lot of fighters having to break at the moment, but. You know, it's one of these little steps we can take to avoid these eye poke situations we get so often with MMA. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Matt Promeny is really playing into the hands of uh, Lavelle here by standing with him. I think he needs to start level changing and taking, looking for that takedown. I know he doesn't want to... He, he's trying to shadow it a little bit and, and make it look like he's not going for a takedown, but he needs to really start persevering here. There we go. Oh, and a nice sprawl there. Lavelle did some really good work to scout that one and immediately... Starts pumping that jab. Oh, straight right hand from Lavelle. That jab is, like I say, is, is perfection. Right on the button every single time he throws it out there. With the size and reach advantage that Lavelle has affords him the opportunity to sit outside the pocket and throw those straight shots. Yeah, Promeny has to step in, whether it's to grapple, whether it's to strike. He has to take one or two steps forward. He's done that now, and he's jumping on the guillotine on the cage again. Promeny's got a tight hold of that neck. He's got one arm in at the moment. Yeah, one arm is. guillotine here. That looked really tight then, but then he's let that other arm go. It's hard to finish with a one arm guillotine. Promeny looking to cinch that second arm up. Looking he's for the guillotine here. Squeezing hard. He looks like he might go out of it. He's thinking it's happened. Oh, and there we go. Submission. Matt Promeny submits his opponent in the second round. He overcomes the size and weight discrepancy to pick up another incredible victory here at Golden Ticket number 10. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for both of these fighters! <laughs> the referee stops the fight at 2 minutes 17 seconds of round number two. 
to the winner via guillotine submission. Fights you could have. Yeah, the toughest. It was the toughest. <clears throat> no doubt, he was the toughest fight I ever had, man. It's not I know. Fucking killer, man. He fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> it seems to me, on the feet, he was starting to get the measure off you, but as soon as you close distance, got clenched, took that top control, you were more than comfortable. Is that about right? Yeah, man. We know he was a boxer, and he was he knocking people out, so we were we were aware of his, you know, boxing power, boxing skills, and all that. So, we, our plan was just taking to the ground. It's not a surprise at all, I'm a fucking crap now. You've appeared here at Golden Ticket Fight Promotions a number of times. You are now starting to become a face for GTFB. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Matt Crowley! And I have a few words. Thank you all of you for giving me the opportunity to fight him. Without him, I couldn't fight because I know people just pulled out in the last minute, you know what I mean? So, big up to him, the Booker Warrior. And big up to my coach, Gucci, he's always there for me. Always there for the train, pushing me harder. And all the guys from out of Swan, you know where you're from, man. Fuck out of Swan, put a fucking wave. Why am I just, you know where you're from, man. Thank you, everybody.